Nowhere is safe from the invasion of the Secret Empire, not even the Savage Lands in Secret Empire Underground number 1. So as the comic opens up, we are going to be taken above Antarctica, where we are going to see the team we're going to be following in this comic. This of course consists of Scott Lang the Ant-Man, Pietro Maximoff aka Quicksilver, Hercules, Sam Wilson the Falcon, Bobby Morse aka Blackbird, and the AI Tony Stark. And right at the start of the comic, we see that they are being attacked by a bunch of pterodactyls because they are about to crash land in the Savage Land. Lucky for them, they make a good safe landing. Unfortunately for them, now they're stuck here and being hunted. And the majority of this comic is actually just kind of going to focus around them fighting their way to try to get a fragment of the Cosmic Cube, which of course is pretty much what all of these times are more or less trying to service. Now I'm not saying that that's bad here, but largely if this issue didn't exist, you could almost ignore it completely and doesn't feel like it would develop a whole lot of, you know, importance here, I should say it like that. Um, it is good, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of great character interaction between everybody, them working as a team, them actually being in the Savage Lands, and that's us getting to just see cool stuff like, you know, giant dinosaurs and them fighting these giant creatures. Um, you know, we get to explore more of the Savage Land, which I think is always awesome. And even at the end when we see them actually defeat a giant dinosaur and they're able to start going underground where we see that they actually meet the person that they now have to kind of deal with, you know, and they're going to be trying to get this last fragment. It's not even a giant battle to say the least. You could actually expect it to kind of, I don't know, be a little bit more impactful. Instead, they just end up winning because I think that's what was sort of a given. The only really big thing of consequence that happens is that Hercules gets pretty messed up, but he's still alive, so nothing really big happens here no giant character death or anything like that and they more or less leave this place just continuing on to their next adventure honestly this comic was just all right uh it didn't feel like it really needs to be a secret empire it almost seems like they want to just push this as a new team and this was kind of a cheap way to i guess market this into secret empire to see if it would take off down the road but honestly I'm not really interested in reading this team. There's a few cool members, but it's nothing I can't get anywhere else. And the cheapness of the Secret Empire tie-in just doesn't feel weighted enough. There's really nothing here to keep you interested. I would give this one just a bare-bones 7.